Does what? Puts a pig's eye in his arse. The elder and the recruiter enter, and the mother says, They've come to take you to war. And he's standing with his back to them, his pants down. He spreads his cheek. I can see that. Did they take him? Not a chance. Addressed to the people of Kedwin. A letter? Hmm, so? It's your drivel, idiot. Where'd you get that idea? I know you. Not to mention you had the gall to quote me. You're not the only witcher in the world. So, you admit it's yours? Sure, it's mine. People have had enough of that pompous clown colluding with Nilfgaard. I decided I needed to open their eyes a little wider. Any idea what that pompous clown's going to do when he finds out who's opening his people's eyes? How would he find out? It could only come from you, and I assume, at least I hope, you won't rat me out. They're going to kill you. Nah. Why did you poke your nose in this? Henselt approached me to write a few panegyrics about him. You know, singing his praises? Can you imagine that? Me? Writing a political pamphlet? Who the hell does he think I am? But that's exactly what this letter is. Possibly. But it's for a good cause. Henselt's a prick. looking for the coins. Grown lads with their arses in the air, scavenging round the tents like idiots. Where are these coins from if there wasn't a single one when they were pitching camp? I smell a rat. Did they hire a witcher? A Knight of the Flaming Rose, here. Geralt of Rivia. Now I recognize you. Terrorist, killer of Siegfried of Danel, murderer of Jacques de Aldersberg. I've long waited for this chance. Defend yourself! idea who you might be, but I hope you're a civilian. We need to talk. What? No, hello, good morning. Pucker up and kiss my ass. nothing. Uh, hello. Good morning, White Wolf. Will you take some tea? It's a fortifying beverage. Some other time, maybe. You must know a lot about the Wild Hunt, as one of the reigning majesties among mages. Oh, I simply cannot concern myself with folk tales about corpses flying about on intensely emaciated steeds. 
the Wild Hunt's no myth. I found Trot and a few other enthusiasts of the Square Coins. Did you learn who leads them? No. Any survivors? No. Ah, oh, you might at least have spared Trot. I'm sure he had secrets. Any reward for the conspirators? Indeed. A nice round sum per head. I could use the gold. How many were there? Vincent and five others. You killed six men! You and your kind should be isolated. The reward? Is yours. Here. I think I know how to free the king from his curse. Well then, let's get to work. Can't do anything until I have the spear the soldier stabbed Sabrina with. Problem is, it's in the hands of a Scoia'tael commander named Yorvith. I know this Yorvith. Are you certain this is the spear? Mm hmm I last saw him back in Flotsam. Yorvith is in Vergen, Witcher. Along with most of the Scoia'tael from the area, they've joined that peasant girl's insurgency. Yorvith part of a peasant uprising? It doesn't make sense. There's only one way to confirm or disprove it. You must cross to the other side of the mist. What of the other artifacts? Do you know them all now? Not yet. In that case, you must wait until you've learned everything before crossing. It's a dangerous voyage, not one to attempt twice, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I'd say. Learn anything new about the curse? The mage on the other side of the fog is also probing the battlefield. A sorceress. How do you know? You shall know them by the fruit of their spells. Magic differs with the brain type that generates it. The female mind is simply laid out differently. It could be Triss. No, but it's someone far more powerful. Spoken to the king yet? Indeed, he was delighted to hear he can be cut from the curse. Great, because I need the medallion of the priest known as Crest. I heard it's in Henselt's possession. <laughs> He'll give you nothing until you free him from the curse. Truthfully, I believe I understand him. You have a good chance of perishing when you confront the Draugrs. Give me a break, Deathmold. The two of you are just afraid I'll leave this entire mess in your hands. Ah, that is something I do not fear at all, for I know exactly why you're here. As for the King, you may curse him and scold him and call him a fool if you wish, though it's not something I would advise. I need magic powder to mark out the runes. Are you aware that the formula requires powdered camphor resin? I am. Then you must also know that the resin is extremely valuable. Get Henselt to pay you. I need the powder to do the exorcism, reverse the prophecy, and release him from the curse. You should have said, I'll give you as much as you need. Thanks, on the King's behalf. I have one more thing you might find useful. What's that? You asked me for protective runes. I've done better. Take this grimoire which details many. I believe there's even one for syphilis. I've marked my recommendations. Thanks. I've got to get through the mist, or I can't lift the curse. I shall supply the white flag when you set out as our emissary. The lass is reputedly honorable. She'll welcome you, invite you to a feast, and with a bit of luck you may even plow her. You're sick, Deathmold. They say she's very pretty. Peasant girls not to your liking? Not your concern. In case the elves lack an understanding of diplomatic symbolism, please also take this armor. With His Majesty's blessing, I might add. A king's concern can be boundless when his life depends on that of another. I spent some time working on this recently. This little marvel will guide you through the fog and provide a measure of protection from the specters. Thanks. See you. But Greetings, Witcher. The sight of your camp must instill fear in your enemies' hearts. I'm certain the stench does. Normal military conditions, Witcher. Boiling cabbage, stale sweat, and the smell of fear. 
They're constant companions in the expansion of any great empire. Thanks for the history lesson. I take it you'll wait until the last minute to bring the remaining troops across. Nothing sinks defenders' hearts more than steady increases in their enemies' ranks. Though I'll say these virgin sons of bitches are worthy foes and won't flee so easily. It's good having a neighbor who knows how to fight. I'm not sure the people of Edern share that sentiment. Deathmold was kind enough to help me. I may be able to lift the curse sooner than I thought. Details don't interest me. I expect results. That said, Master Geralt, what would you say to a long-term offer? Protection, for instance. If it involves eliminating monsters, then yes. That's perfect. My regal person is at all times threatened by potential monsters. Not the same. I'm ill-suited to being a bodyguard. You tread upon a slippery meadow, Witcher. Beware, it's strewn with the nastiest cow pies. I'm not one to be refused. Still... I've had people beheaded for more pleasant answers. I won't change my mind. Fine response. I see there's truth in what they say about the size of a witch's privates. I'm glad to see you're no pushover, and have a mind of your own. If only I had more men of your ilk, and not the kind of ass munchers that infest my court. I heard you gained fame during the wars with Nilfgaard. Our fees have doubled since the Battle of Brenna. As it turns out, it was worth risking our necks. I wouldn't mind learning some details about Brenna from someone who played first fiddle there. Constable Natalis commanded the Nordlings. The Nilfgaardians mounted a vicious attack. And if not for us and the Dun Banner, the collected armies of the North probably would have shattered into bits. Luckily we showed up at the right time, withstood the assault and came out victorious. We earned every last copper we were paid. Fifty thousand Nilf Guardians shattered their teeth trying to bite at us. Menno Kohorn, their commander-in-chief, chose death over humiliation. Like in every battle, it was a question of timing, taking advantage of the foe's missteps, and a bit of luck. Must be fatiguing, fighting all the time. I took a little time off recently. Something along the lines of a honeymoon. But I like my craft, and I'm not afraid to wouldn't it. I knew one of your kind once. Woman by the name of Rayla. Killed by an elf's treacherous arrow. She made a mistake. Let her emotions take control. This profession requires cold calculation. Does Henselt pay his mercenaries well? Call it professional curiosity on my part. It's no secret a lump sum of 20,000 Novigrad crowns awaits. To be divvied up between those who survive. So the more of you die, the greater the take per head. Yes. Were you here three years ago during the last battle for Vergen? Bradley's Blue Banner was. They were decimated by mages. The survivors enlisted with us. They weren't eager to talk about it, and we didn't press them. No lack of work for your kind. Mercenary might just be the surest profession these days. Sign of the times. Is Henselt paying you to wait? Curiosity itching you, Witcher. Not the best trait to have in wartime. You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. Deathmole's given us silver-plated weapons.